welcome back to my channel as you've seen from my last video I bought myself a Gucci Marmont belt and as promised I want to determine whether or not this is the right belt for me so here is my test I hope you learned something I bought it to be worn around my coats and I'll show you what I mean so let's try it and see if it works with it if it doesn't I'll just have to return it and get a different one so let's see how it goes my general rule of thumb is whenever I invest in something it must be able to fit at least three or four items for something this expensive it better be able to pair with almost everything in my wardrobe <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe this is a pairing that might work because this is a pretty thick um, thing so hopefully this would work with it because it's thick so let's see if it works are you listening this is another critical test to determine if this is a yes because i have like five of these um, waistcoats and i love them i wear them every single year so an investment like this must be able to fit them nicely is it gonna be the wide width or the narrow width this is, is it gonna be too wide for this does it make it look too bulky damn guys I'm beginning to like this belt with this I think it pairs really nicely I mean if I get the right fit which I think is 85 centimeters I think it just might work but let's not make a premature decision there are still more fittings to come so we'll see that <laughs> This one is definitely the deciding factor because this is my trench coat from ASUS and I want to pair it with this belt and this would definitely be the deal breaker if it does appear well with this then it's a no-no so Anyone who knows me know I love lots of shirt dresses, so let's see also how it would pair with some of them. Just have a general idea. So this is the test of tests because I want to wear this belt with this coat. So if it doesn't fit, I have to quit this belt it's still too big so this is not the size but let's see in terms of weight how pretty it looks oh no <laughs> I was really trying to look for excuses not to love this belt but this is a great belt uh, do I need the big width to give me this effect Regardless, I think it goes quite nicely with this. I think the bronze buckle is really complementary to this ASOS coat. And I love this coat. I wear it in spring and fall. It's 
great for dressing up and to wear casually like this. It's gorgeous when you pair it with your distressed jeans and the belt just goes so nicely with it. I mean, seriously guys, look at it. It's it's absolutely it's stunning. Great with it. It's gold on tan. This is awesome. The width I don't know yet. I'll have to decide. Um if a smaller width would work then. But it doesn't look bad. It absolutely looks great. regular light duster coats like this would I get my money's worth this very well so but I'm not sure about the size could appear a bit bulky <laughs> next are my coats from misguided I have three of these coats so it's essential that Gucci works with these as well Oh, wow. This doesn't look too badly either. I am absolutely stumped. But I might add, don't be deceived because in person it could be a bit bulky or it could be a bit too much for a daytime look. It, I find it to be more of a glam look. I could be wrong, but it looks great. But I don't know. I I do love it though. This is absolutely great. And I am pleasantly surprised how well it's pairing with my duster coats as well as my chunky coats. This is absolutely awesome. I love the way it looks with this one as well it's it's definitely a struggle now to decide on this belt I guess the deciding factor might be whether or not this is worth it for me whether I should go to maybe get the smaller version which is the 1.5 um, inches wide instead of this one because I'm thinking I'm likely to get more wear from the 1.5 as opposed to this one but it's really good <laughs> and also I would love for my belt to of course be able to be paired with my jeans if it can't be paired with my jeans that's a no-no. So, this looks great, but it's definitely too wide. And of course, this is not the right pair of jeans for this belt. I should have looked for one with loops, but the it was pointless because that belt cannot fit into any of the loops of any of my jeans so the point was moot so yeah it's not ideal for my jeans which is one of the reasons that 
I believe that the 1.5 inch is probably the better and wiser choice for me because I would be able to pair it with everything in my wardrobe. And that's exactly what I want out of a very expensive belt like this one. So I think I'm leaning towards that, guys. But let's try some more looks. As I mentioned earlier, ideally, I would love my investment in a belt by Gucci to be one I could also pair with my workwear which includes a vast majority of my shirt dresses and this is one that I absolutely love and I don't think it would pair nicely with this one I think it's a bit too out there it's not at all subtle <laughs> so I think the 1.5 inch would definitely be um, less bold and more subtle and more work appropriate. I like to push the boundaries, but no, I think it's best to invest otherwise. This is a second shirt dress I love to wear to work and it's absolutely not going to work with this as well because for the same reason as the previous one it's a bit too much for a work look well at least in my environment where it's semi-professional but I do think it would work excellently in a creative setting where this is a belt that would definitely take your outfits up to a million notches. You're going to look so chic, so glam, so well put together. It's going to be awesome. But for me, I think I'm likely to invest in a second-hand version of this, maybe from Vestia Collective. And for now, I'll probably invest in the 1.5 inch which would work for me and for most of my wardrobe pieces. I hope you guys learned something from this, from everything, and that you could definitely invest wisely when making a decision for a high-end purchase like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.